Tonight, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi speaking out against the president after he posted a series of racist tweets targeting progressive Democratic congresswomen, falsely implying that they weren't natural-born American citizens and telling them to go back to their countries. Pelosi writing on Twitter when real Donald Trump tells four American congresswomen to go back to their countries, he reaffirms his plan to make America great again has always been about making America white again. Our diversity is our strength and our unity is our power. And this just in from Senator and presidential candidate Kamala Harris. Listen to this. It is absolutely racist and un-American. And it is an old trope, go back to where you came from, that, you know, you might hear it on the street, but you should never hear that from the president of the United States. This guy doesn't understand his, he doesn't understand his responsibilities. I don't think he understands what the American people want from their president, which is somebody who's going to elevate public discourse and speak with a level of dignity, with a goal of unity. This president doesn't understand that, and that's why I'm running against him, and that's why he needs to go. Joining us now, CNN political commentator and Republican strategist Anna Navarro. Anna, we've heard Democrats lining up in mass to criticize Trump, but what is the responsibility of Republicans tonight? Look, uh, Republicans have neglected the responsibility when it comes to Donald Trump uh, for three years now, and I don't think that's going to change because of this horrible tweet. But frankly, uh, Republicans should be speaking out against this. Republicans should be calling this what it is. Call a spade a spade. Call a racist a racist. The problem is that they've enabled this racist for far too long. They've justified this racist for far too long. They've kissed his ring for far too long. They are afraid of this racist. And so they just look the other way and play dumb. But it really is a very bad look for the entire Republican Party. Kamala Harris is right. I can tell you, I get it all the time. Go back to your country. Well, I got news for Donald Trump and all of his supporters who feel the same way. This is our country. It is our country as much as it is the Trump's country. And if we're going to start sending people back, I don't know. You know, listen, um, Ted Cruz was born in Canada. Marco Rubio's parents were born in Cuba. Melania Trump was born where? Slovenia. How about her parents who are here through family immigration? I am sick of this guy's hypocrisy and his ways of dividing this country, pitting people against each other. And I think it is no coincidence, it is no coincidence that the, the Congress people he's, uh, you know, picking on are all women of color, are all uh, women of color. And as a woman of color yourself, do you believe Donald Trump wants you in this country? I really couldn't care less what Donald Trump wants. I don't care if he wants me in this country or not, because this is my country. He doesn't get to decide that. I am a naturalized citizen. I love America. And let me just tell you, if you go to the Vietnam Memorial, you will see a bunch of Hispanic names, a bunch of names of people who came from other countries and were willing to do what Donald Trump was too much of a coward to do, sacrifice and serve for this country and wear this country's uniform, risking their lives for it. So. You know, look, Donald Trump is a nightmare, a national embarrassment and a national nightmare that's going to pass someday. He's caused great damage to our reputation, to the presidency, certainly to the Republican Party. But at some point, we are going to get past this and we're going to remember the American values. What I implore people to do is not to get numbed to this, not to get used to this, to call it out every time they see it, even if we're doing it every single damn day. People cannot get tired of what the outrageous things this president does and says are. They cannot get tired of condemning racism. They cannot get tired of condemning division and hostility and, and racial tropes. It's just disgusting and we have to call it out every single time. And when I read these tweets, one of the things that I thought of was uh, former chief strategist Steve Bannon, when he, f he famously said mm. that after the Mueller probe, uh, the president would go, quote, full animal. And here's what he told Anderson Cooper. Now that he sees himself as no longer being under the cloud of the Mueller investigation, what does going full animal look like? President Trump's a fighter. As I don't need to tell you, Anderson. You know him very well. He's a fighter. And I think he looks at this as a fight. And uh, I think he's going to be very aggressive. I think he's going to start giving interviews. And I think he's going to really try to push this. I do think this year is going to be very vitriolic. And I think we're just going to have to work through this. And is today proof he was right? He's been doing this all along, Anna. Remember that 
how he got his start in politics, unfortunately and shamefully, for the Republican Party, was with the birther theory against Obama by questioning the first black president's legitimacy and citizenship, something that we saw his, you know, mini-me little son do again uh, when it came to Kamala Harris last week when he retweeted that, that and then deleted that tweet. So this is not new. This is not new. They, whether it's the Central Park Five, whether it's the discrimination, the housing discrimination in New York against African Americans, whether it's calling black athletes sons of bitches, whether it's dividing Hispanic families at the border and putting children in cages, whether it's telling these Congress women, three of whom were born in this country, right. Ohio, Michigan, and New York, yeah. to go back home. Well, you know what? Uh, if people who are descendants of immigrants are going to get sent back home, let's start with Donald Trump. Anna Navarro, good to have your thoughts on all of this. Thank you for joining us. We'll be right back.